Well, a group of self-taught engineers in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania, is designing windmills, generating electricity and pumping water using locally sourced materials with the goal of making a difference in the rural communities. Africa 54's Paul Ndiho reports. This is a fascinating story about a three young men. One, an electrical engineer by training, and the other two are self-taught handymen. I've come to Magomeni in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania, to meet this incredibly talented team of young people called Team Success. They have teamed up to form a youth-led company along with other innovative youth. They are building windmills in rural communities across Tanzania. Hatibu Safiri is one of the co-founders. We are using the technology which is called using the wind. Mm -hmm. A wind is a natural resource. It's a, what we call renewable energy. Mm -hmm. So we are using the wind to convert it into a simple mechanism that will help us to fetch water. Their goal is to create access to cheap drinking water for rural communities generate electricity and diversify Tanzania's energy mix towards a greener power. So we are using the wind to make a windmill generator to produce electricity and we are using even the wind to make something called a wind ketchup for collecting water. So far, Team Success has built more than 10 windmills in the outskirts of Dar es Salaam, especially in Bikundu, Makuranga, Chamazi areas, the Tanga region, and Mbeya city. Tamimu Kifungu is the co-founder of a Team Success. The problem was how to find the work and how to organize the other people to join to make one thing for the society. Analysts say the windmill project is seen as a model for helping boost a small-scale clean energy projects in Tanzania. But the funding for such small-scale windmill pumps is not there, and these youngsters are crying for help. Is the government helping you, or you're just doing it out of your own pocket? Yeah, everything is doing it in the pocket and the support from the brothers. Team Success wants to build windmills across Tanzania and perhaps beyond. And for that, Tamimu Kifungu and his team of self-taught engineers are trying to make the designs simple and straightforward and safer to construct. Their dream is to help Tanzanians become self-sufficient and resolve their water and electricity problems without reliance on government funding. Despite the challenges, a team successes windmills have also brought big lifestyle changes to the communities they serve. Most of the areas in our country have got wind. So we are using that wind energy and convert it into electricity. After finding we have electricity, we just pump water or even make the electricity for the homes and the other issues. According to a report released by the Tanzania National Development Vision 2025, the country is endowed with diverse renewable energy resources, ranging from biomass and hydropower to geothermal, solar and wind energy. And so much of this potential has not been fully tapped. Paul Ndiho, VON News, Magomeni, Dar es Salaam, Tanzania.